Okay, guys, here's a perfect example of male on male hostility, right? There's a case where uh, some young guys, teenage boys, were fooling around, throwing water at each other, minding their own business, not really hurting anyone. And some splashed an uber human, a female. And her husband saw that as an excuse to tackle and body slam this young guy, right? He, he's an attack dog. And you know something? His wife didn't say anything about it because she, that's what she got together with this guy for. Proxy violence, right? Now we'll get into this. Alisher at the restaurant in Loveland on August 4th when a teenager who was goofing off in the restaurant dining room accidentally splashed Alisher's wife while flinging water at his pals. He's yeah, so he didn't do anything wrong. They're just fooling around with one another. It was an accident. And it's just water. Like water will never dry, right? And that prompted this gorilla to attack someone. He Let's face it. He was taking on someone he knew he could beat. So he's a bloody coward too. And he's a woman worshiping person, piece of shit. Right? And his wife said and did nothing because that's what she got together with this guy for a little more context here that is annoying but doesn't add up to that okay teen approached their table to apologize now there you the boy even tried to to apologize right no good man no good because you gave me an opening to harm you which is what i wanted to do to start with this peasant this slave boy to women saw these young guys and kicking their heels up and enjoying their freedom that he lacks. You know, nothing ticks off a slave more than a free man. Say it. When a man the size of a professional wrestler stood up and grabbed the team. Okay, Th that's where you just, Jackson, that's where you just give, give him a stern talk. I would have been angry too. You would have been angry too. See, guys, see what I'm talking about? She, this woman is trying to defend this boy, but she's showing the exact same attitude that led to this assault. I would have been angry, too, because, you know, an accidental splash of water is too much for me. You want to wet up a black woman's hair? Lady, you should be embarrassed to say that as a black woman. If, if black women can't have their hair wet, that's saying something negative about you. I don't think so. So I would have said, hey, hey, hey. Hey, yeah, you wet my hair by accident? I don't think so. So how is your attitude any different than this gorilla who attacked us, this mindless man-hater who attacked this helpless boy? And where are all the heroes to jump up and and save this boy? You know, when men, when, when men fight with women, there's a, a thousand simps ready to jump up and rescue her. But this young boy, no one came to his rescue, right? Because everybody is in on it. Better watch yourself, okay? But they're kids. Kids are, yeah. guess what? Newsflash, kids are going to be kids. They're, they're the young fella came up and actually was going to apologize, so there wasn't even any reason to say that either. They're going to be kids sometimes. Mother of one of the teenagers involved in the incident posted video of the encounter on Facebook. The camera's always on. You're always being watched. Duh. Her son Can I ask you something, guys, too? Notice if, if some guy gets pedo smeared. You know, there are guys out there ready to form a posse and go after that guy. But notice this guy who attacks a helpless boy. There's none of that. Uh, these boys have fathers, don't they? How come the fathers aren't out there uh, chasing after them to put this guy down themselves personally? Right? Because it's a different story. Because their sons might be young guys, but they're still male. Right? So the, all of a sudden the fathers just get a little annoyed. But they're not going to commit violence for them. Right? All these losers, these husbands who come around and say, if someone attacked my child, I would blah, 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 blah. This shows you they're full of shit. These losers get upset. 
but they're not going to they're, they're not going to stand up for their sons son was not the one physically attacked but she's used social media to help identify Kalisher. The footage, large man can be heard ordering the startled teen to say sorry or placing him in a chokehold and throwing him to the tile floor like a rag doll. You don't treat a lady that way. Say it's the old gynocentrism, right? The female worship. You don't accidentally touch someone who's so far above you and me, right? That she can't even speak for herself. I got to come up and be your little attack, bitch. Callister admonished the teen while standing over him. And a lady doesn't want you defending her this way with a child. I'm a lady. I am. Okay. And you you wouldn't be defending me, me like that. I would have checked on the, the kid and said no. That's right, because the mother, or the wife, I should say, she was in on it. She condones this. This is the behavior she wants from this man. She, she wants her husband ready to commit violence on her behalf. She doesn't get her hands dirty, but she has, what, what, what is it? Uh, she has violence lost, blood lost. That's what I'm trying to say. His wife has blood lost, but she doesn't want to get her hands dirty. So that's what he's there for. Uh, you listen, we can get to you splashing the water with your kid, you know, your friends, whatever. But now I have to check on you. And by the way, I don't have my glasses. Get on here and call me an Uber because I'm not going home with him. I'm not going home. Well, that's that's his, your big uh, punishment for your attack dog. I'm not going to go home with him. No, this guy was jailed, which is what he deserves. This criminal. That man is a criminal who attacked helpless minors. And he's going to jail. So your big uh, boost to this criminal is to say, well, I just don't approve. Right. Now, that's that's the you see, these women condone this. With him. Outrageous. It's outrageous. It's child abuse. Yeah. And I hope he is still locked up. Maybe think about what you did. The boys pals quietly backed away. He can't learn anything, though, right? Because its priority is woman worship. And all you ladies, and you even showed the attitude, it's like, this peasant can't do this to me, right? This boy got my hair wet, right? This guy's going to get out, and he's going to be a tack dog for the next woman he worships. From the man not wanting to be next in line to face his wrath, witnesses were also stunned. One person calling out the man for picking on a kid like that. I don't yeah. Witnesses are stunned and no one intervened, right? These people aren't out to protect other people. You know, if this guy was attacking a teenage girl, there'd be all these, you know, again, simps ready to attack him, you know, using the girl just like he with his wife to attack other men. It's an excuse. When, when, Guys get into it with women. It's an excuse for men to commit violent acts and even murder and get on. So it's it's a get out of jail free card is what it is. But this asshole here, it didn't work for him. At least not with the police. It did with everyone else. No one got up and intervened. I bet there were other men in that restaurant who saw him attacking those boys. And those men sat their asses down. They weren't going to interfere because they agreed with it. In their heart of hearts, they condone what was going on. And a black star with the details, a trusted partner, we appreciate them. Or his identity emerged, footage of a shocking confrontation went viral online, with many eager to identify the attacker. This included the father of another teen in the video who was outraged that his son's friend was assaulted by a full grown man. Yeah, he was upset. So, hey, dude, how come you aren't tracking this guy down and giving him a severe beating? Like you would for some teenage boy who banged your daughter. You know, this father, he had a daughter who spread her legs for some teenage boy. He'd go and beat up that teenage boy. But some grown man attacks his son, well, he's just minorly upset. Screw you, pal. You, at the very least, you should be saying, thank God this criminal is behind bars. That's the very least you'd be saying.
And you should be added on, I would kill this guy if I met him in real life. But no, notice none of that uh, talk is here in this case, is it, guys? Right? Tough guy. Suspect and his wife let the restaurant on Fall River Drive. They left before police arrived, but witnesses identified. Yeah, thank God for social media, right? Because I bet before social media, assholes like him got away. They would say, oh, I went too far. Uh, uh, I and my wife leave. And notice his wife left with him, lady. She condoned it. She was happy that this guy happened. She probably got wet dreams over it the night, at that night. Identified the assailant as Kalisher, and a warrant was issued for his arrest August 13th. After deleting his social media accounts, Kalisher surrendered the same night at 10.33 p.m. Now, why are you being a coward? What do you mean being a coward? He is a coward. Woman worshipers are cowards. Those guys in the restaurant, how come they didn't come to these boys' defense? Because men are cowards by nature. If you're going to behave this way, why not stand up and say, that's me? Why are you deleting your social media, erasing your digital footprint, or trying to? Well, it's no different than his wife. She didn't come up and, and defend this guy's actions, did she? But she didn't uh, bash him for it either. Because then she would have to set a precedent to say this is bad behavior. When she sees it as good behavior. And so do you, woman who says you don't get a black woman's hair wet. And what's the wife? have to say about it your turn jackson uh please put his the, the the wife has nothing to say about it because she it's a lose-lose situation for her either she backs her husband and and exposes what she is or she condemns her husband and then sets a precedent and she doesn't want that she actually wants him to be like the way he is. That's why they're together as a couple. Period. Women demand this behavior from men. The only difference here is that he got caught, right? And that's why she's gonna remain silent and on the fence. So we'll, let's see, I'll, I'll skim through to see if there's anything more to say. Oh yeah. This is, they got some other simp here trying to uh, defend the wife. And in that picture that you saw, you could tell that the woman, he, his wife was like, what are you doing? Uh, no, no, no. I saw her look concerned. That's it. He, I, no, she didn't get up and say anything or do anything. So she condones this behavior, dude. Don't be simping for this disgusting woman. Uh, it, there, there was another picture uh, where she was looking at him. Yeah, she's looking at him like, oh, my God. Yeah, she's looking concerned. So what? If she really felt the way he's describing it, she would have said something. And she didn't. Because she enjoyed what was going on. Uh, like, you, like you pointed out, I mean, at the end of the day, kids will be kids. And oftentimes, the stuff like this happens, that they don't mean it. You know what I mean? Like, They don't mean it. Of course, they don't mean it, dude. They sprayed her accidentally. They were hitting each other. These guys, these young guys did nothing wrong. Nothing. Zero. I'll get past this simp. I don't want to hear him. Go ahead, hon. No, I was Go just going to say he should be in jail for this. That's all. I was yeah, he should. It's child abuse. It's assault. And I got to be honest with you. I feel the same way. It, we're adults dealing with adult problems, okay? So we can kind of get annoyed and have a quick trigger but this is unacceptable and now this i wanted to get here to, to end off with this adult problems can't compare as far as i'm concerned with children's problems i'm an adult i'm pushing 60 so you guys can believe me because you know something neither me or this woman here has to worry about random attacks right some guy beats me up, I call the police and put him behind bars, right? This woman won't even have to worry about it. 
know, ev everyone who becomes an adult just tries to say childhood is an easy breeze. No, I found there was a lot more stress in high school and middle school than there was in my adult life. Adults do actually do not suffer a lot of the stresses that the teenagers do. Um, so I, I, I hate when people talk like that. In the end, her attitude is somewhat conciliatory to this guy. I can understand, you know, these kids, they're fooling around, they're free. They actually splash like one of us uh, divine beings, and they don't realize what they're doing. So I can understand people getting upset and wanting to pound the shit out of them, you know, right? No, no. <laughs> no, I'm calling these people out. Yeah, you know, these people are part of the problem. Anyway, we'll end it here.